Hello, everyone. I'm your host for the Seeking Heaven channel. I'm Tamara Calder Richardson. If you don't know me, I'm a six time near death experiencer. And in those near death experiences, on two of them, I spent time with Jesus Christ. And uh, one of them, I was dead um, for a couple hours on and off. And I was put in an induced coma because my lungs collapsed. That was when I was five years old. And I spent it in heaven with him. And since then, I have been talking to him. Um, and I want to talk to you about how I get uh, communication from him. Um, but before I do that, uh, how you can connect with me, if those of you want to connect with me, because of my near-death experiences, and a lot of people know me already that are on my channel, um, that, that support me. Thank you. And also consider donating for this channel. You can also find me at my Ascension School, which is the Academy of Divine Wisdom. And you can get a free Christ-like meditation there, 30 minutes, as well as there's classes there. There's paid classes, free classes. Please check it out. I was told to do this many, many years ago and finally uh, took the courage to do that. And I also do Life Path Evidential Medium readings. I do talk to people of those who have crossed over in heaven. And, uh, and then many times Jesus will come through. Sometimes other religious figures will come through depending on um, you know, if you are a uh, Christian or not, you may have somebody else come through and not Jesus. Of course, Jesus let's talk to everybody. Um, and also make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't liked and subscribed. So I want to talk to you about, uh, you know, the channeling in Christ. First of all, I want you to keep your mind very open. He talks to everybody and he talks to them through dreams um, and our, we do have a big team. I say team God, we have angels, we have um, ancestors or our relatives that check on us. They're in heaven, but they can check on us here. They pray for us there. That comes through commonly. They pray for us just like we pray for people here. They pray for us there uh, here on earth. And we do have a big team supporting us. Um, I have a really special relationship with Jesus. Uh, it's very sacred to me. And of course, I know everybody's relationship with um, with God, uh, Christ, um, you know, that and all the things that are holy it is very special. But with me, you know, I knew him in my near death experiences, which you can hear that on many channels I've talked about, it, including my own. But I do get messages and it's not always sometimes he'll make a little comment. and He's actually very funny with me and he'll make a comment. Uh, of something I'll say, or I'll ask him something and he'll make a comment. Other times I, you know, I, it's silent and I talk to him and he's more listening and I don't always get things. And then sometimes he wakes me up and he'll start talking. So that doesn't mean that sometimes I'll get long periods of quiet and then I'll get a response and that's normal. I mean, he's not like Netflix. I can't just own demand get answers. And even when I ask him things, he won't answer it the way necessarily I want it to, but he'll answer it the way he's going to answer it. He's just going to answer the way he's going to answer it. And so I think there's certain things we're supposed to know and certain things we're not supposed to know. And I feel like that when you're working with these higher divine realms, it doesn't make you any more special. It just makes you more open to it and that you seek that seeking heaven, hence that name. Um, that there are many of those out there that are getting similar things to what I'm getting. And I was very apprehensive about coming on and talking to you about this topic because people that know me, um, I'm just now starting to teach spiritual superpower uh, gifts because people already have it and they don't know where to go with it. And they want to, they already have it. They can't undo it, especially when you've had some spiritual experiences that unlock it. Um, how do you do it safely and use it to be of service to mankind? I'm just now doing that. But being prophetic uh, publicly is something that I've been very quiet about. I'm very shy about those things. And during the, um, I have to be careful what I say, hence any kind of um, platform, you know, they review those things. But I did get everything Everything that happened three years ago, I did get that. And I did get it beforehand. I got it um, right right uh, uh, March 2020. It's when I started getting things. And it's also when Jesus told me to start hearing his messages. 
and you can look at Jesus Speaks. I have a tiny little channel. I have this Jesus Speaks. Some people know me from there, and uh, I appreciate that. Uh, and then he told me to start YouTube in July 2020. Uh, and, I, and he said, I have all different spiritual topics, all different religions, because, you know, it's like him. He wants to get everybody on the bandwagon. <laughs> you don't want to leave anybody out. He wants to pull us together. And we really do, do need to pull together as humanity. We need to do it in love. I mean, you know, let's think about those of you that are from America. We came from all different parts of the world here so we could be free and free to choose the life that we wanted and to express ourselves freely and uh, and whatever creative endeavors we wanted to do that we could do that freedom of religion too and we we were okay that people were all different with that we were okay now all of a sudden everybody's all out of sorts about it but I think there's a bigger picture here and we do need to gather in love I want to talk about a message I got from Jesus on February 2nd. Um, and you think, well, February 2nd, well, it still applies. <laughs> and I've been getting information on this April 8th, uh, situation with the eclipse and I'm getting several things. And those of you might write in the chat might understand actually more what I'm getting. Sometimes I just, the thing about being a channel, you just want to get the information. If you don't get any more than that, you can ask, but if you don't get any more than that, sometimes you have to let it unfold. You get more information later. It comes together later. So I'm going to first start with my message that was channeled by Jesus. And I wrote it down. I got these notebooks all over the place. Okay. And I wrote this down. Uh, and it was in the middle of the night. I was woken up at 6 a.m. by Jesus to, to tell you this. And he's insisted I do this. I feel very uncomfortable, but I must tell you this. So um, because it's his message to you. And then um, I will tell you my prophecy I'm getting on April and September. All right. And, and maybe to collectively we can pray together. We can help. We can change this world for the better. Right. Because God wouldn't have put us here if we couldn't have been the change in the world. I mean, that's just not God. So I want to tell you what Jesus said. I'm going to read it verbatim what I've got, because when I write it, he'll even correct me. No, not that word. So I write it. I hear it. So that's how I, I do that. So I was troubled about, I haven't been sleeping for some time. Let me do the setup. I haven't been sleeping. I still haven't. I've been taking melatonin, which makes me really groggy in the morning, which is I'm doing coffee. So now I'm in this horrible cycle, which I plan to break. And it's actually had me up so much. And then a while back, some dingling doctor, sorry, but he put me in all these, um, steroids for 10 weeks because of a sinusitis and that depleted my immune system that that's kind of going so I, I can't sleep part of that is not sleeping and so I can't blame it totally on spiritual things but I do wake up praying and I do wake up talking to Jesus asking about stuff but in this case he woke me up and this is February 2nd 2024 so this is Jesus time is not instant but given out in units of increments of time. When you are in alliance with me, I will give you time to prepare for any upcoming storm by giving you advance warnings. There is no storm harsher than the wicked hungry and wanting to eat others flesh for they are feral and have lost their humanity and soul to the dark one. There is nothing but cruelty from them. That is their pleasure and what drives them. The darkness does not see the victory in store for God's people. And, and I'm wondering footnote there, darkness, does that mean three days of darkness and God's got a plan for his people? Or I, I don't know. So let me repeat that again. The darkness does not see the victory in store for God's people, or it could be both, you know, you know, uh, Satan, and then also three days of darkness, or, you know, it, it, it's multiple meanings there. I thought that one. So let me read it and then I'll keep going. The darkness does not see the victory in store for God's people. The day of redemption is soon at hand. Do not be dismayed. Hold on to me as your lifeboat. I will carry you through the winds, hell and storm for I love you. Do not allow the threats, actions of destructions, 
have destruction have a hold on you for you are free he's telling you you're free don't be bound and be caught in terror because of this food shelter food shelter i know what you need we'll find a way together prepare for a few days of bad weather but sunlight at dawn will start a new beginning keep being you be kind to yourself and others be the light in this world I pass the torch on to you. I love you, Jesus. So that came up. And sometimes I get words. Sometimes I get visions. Sometimes I get combinations. Most people that are, honestly, you can be like this too. You just have to be, uh, you know, uh, aware of it and write it down. I always say, keep your Jesus journal, but write it down. Is this thing, these things unfold? So that was February. So, Okay. So then, um, in the beginning of March, and here we are, mid-March, toward the end of March already. Um, I don't know when this airs, but I'm going to air it before April, <laughs> um, or the first week of it. Um, but I have been getting information. I did not know. I'm busy with other things. I got family stuff going on. I haven't been looking. Okay, just to let you know, I have a YouTube channel. I am told intuitively who to put on. I'm busy with my school. I've got classes. I don't go around. I don't have time to look at other people's stuff going on or what's going on there. If someone sends me a little quick Instagram uh, and if it looks interesting, maybe I'll look at it. But I was getting in this information intuitively. And what I was getting is April 8th, before I even knew that was a thing. <laughs> I didn't even know what day that was, but the eight was infinity. There has something to do with that. And I saw there would be solar flares and that I don't know if it has to do with the earth coming so close to it. I didn't realize it was the eclipse then, but that, that there would be um, darkness, but I heard there would be, and I can't save it so much here, but they would be some at the talk uh, a little loosely, um, that there would be interworkings that would be uh, not, the eclipse would not be as it would seem, or it would be a uh, piggybacked onto, you know, it's kind of like someone, you're at a, you're on a date, and then someone wants to, um, um, you know, piggyback your good time by bringing their date with them and kind of sitting at your table. It's a piggyback. So uh, why well, use that example? I could have used anything, but they're piggybacking onto whatever this is. And it's an eternal thing. What I was told is that, and it doesn't make sense to me. I got to be honest with you. None of this makes sense. But then again, if we think about three or more years ago, a lot of that didn't make sense, right? Anytime you have chaos, confusion, misinformation, it's always not going to make sense. So that's where you should use your human brain, <laughs> do your research. <laughs> don't rely on what just Tamara said, because there's a lot of people probably saying things I don't know. But um, I am getting to have extra food supplies. If you need water supplies, I don't know if you're on a, you know, if you're on a pump, you know, a well, but whatever you need um, provisions. Luckily, in mo in most of the U.S., I don't know if it's occurring other places. I really don't. I think it's just mainly here. Okay, um, but it's not that cold, so we're okay. I don't think this will last for long. What I was shown is it would be an inconvenience. There's more underneath it that's going on. There's there's a, a launch, like a marketing launch of something not so good. And this is behind this piggyback of what's going on called the April 8th situation of the eclipse or what have you, which, you know, there's a lot of people gathering. You're saying there could be pot potential other things going on. Maybe so, but that's not what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about what I got and that. Um, to have the extra storage and so forth. I don't think it would last maybe three to five days. And so fast it would come and go that people would forget it. But it's a test on the, the emotional state of humanity, okay? And they want to know how many people 
are willing to go along with things. Just going to tell you. So I don't know how many people still have that passion and, you know, fire, whatever you want to call it for your own, um, you know, freedom. I, I, I guess that's what it is. So the second thing I saw, and I got a number. So sometimes it comes up in my head like a flashcard. And it's kind of like that uh, Kevin Bacon movie where she sees the number. That's how I see it. I see like a above my head. Sometimes I hear it. And sometimes I get both. When I get both, I know, okay, something mid-September, but I got a date, one, seven. We're back. If you add one plus seven, that's eight. So we're back to eight again. You can't, you know, if you do one, Plus two, that equals three, right? Okay. Um, but certain numbers, like three is just three. Eight is just eight. One plus seven is eight. So I saw September 17th, and I heard that would be an outside, um, what is the word? I don't want to use the word. Uh, an outside breach. Okay. And there's nothing anyone can do about that except for pray stay away from chaos, <laughs> be calm, have your faith in God and family matters a lot. Your prayers, it really does. Cause we want to not be in fear, but to, um, to, to be empowered by the presence of God in Christ. So I wanted to tell you a couple things that I sent actually a friend of mine. So I'm going to show you on my, actually it's on my phone where I sent it. I want you to look at, I mean, you can always look at Psalm 91, but I want you to do that. Everybody knows about that Psalm 91, which is good, but I want you to look at Proverbs 18, 15 and Proverbs 15, 14, and it talks um, about being knowledgeable, okay? And you know, what is it? The lack of my, of my people suffer because they're lack of knowledge, but okay, that's an, another one, but these are two more and it's about being knowledgeable. So when you use knowledge and what does that mean? Well, after, look, I'm going to tell you about my knowledge. So I get this information, although I'm not doing anything with it. And I usually don't, I will tell you that I saw three and a half years ago within one hour and I heard one hour, I heard one hour, all the grocery stores were emptied out all all. And that was three over three years ago, but that hadn't happened yet. Everything else that I saw happen, uh, the grocery stores were emptied out and there was a national guard handing out little, you had a voucher and then you could get food, but you don't want what they're giving out. And you don't want to stand with, cause that's where, you know, you don't want to be in crowds. Okay. So, uh, no, this is, that's what I saw that hasn't happened yet. Does that mean it's going to happen this time? No. That's the thing about being psychically, you know, I got this channel message from Jesus. So you can have to interpret that. Yes, you can interpret it too. Um, then I get things because, you know, being intuitive, being, you know, six near death experiences, you don't come back normal, you know, being dead two hours, you don't come back normal. Um, and so I do, you know, I, I do pick up these things and I have to really use discernment whether to say something or not, but I always say, do your research. So I did my research because I'm an evidential medium. So when I get proof, people, you know, their grandparents or whoever it is, they're happy, they're at peace and they, you know, will show evidence here like a Bible or a piece of jewelry. Um, and so I like proof. So I looked and I found that where I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, I had no idea. We're not even near the, 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 the cross section of all that going on um, um, uh, the eclipse, but I, there, they, they do have national guard here and they started talking about own TV here, own local TV about the bio, bio threats and all this stuff. And I'm going, Oh my gosh. And I saw that. And then when I went to look at it again, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it anywhere. And then I started doing more research from other things. And then I have a, a client who has information from military intel. So there's a possibility that there's something underway. And all I'm saying, all oh, what can we do on our part is that we can't control out there, but we can control us, right? We can, you know, not be out there in the craziness, just kind of honker down, you know, read a book, <laughs> be calm, 
say your prayers, be in a state, be in a calm meditative state, try to calm the people around you, your, your home life, your neighbors, your friends, try to be calm because this will pass. And Jesus has promised in my Jesus speaks at March, 2020. Uh, he even talked about the, um, you know, right there. He talked about that before it even came out. Yeah. I didn't even know what he was talking about. That's what I mean. Sometimes you have to wait for these things to unfold. So, um, that's happening there. The, uh, the, I think the reason sometimes God gives us a heads up is just so we have a little bit of pre-planning. I mean, wouldn't it be helpful to know that you're going to run out of gas? You might need to buy some extra gas. <laughs> You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's not rocket science. So, you know, the worst scenario that happens, you have a few cans of tuna and whatever, some extra water or whatever it is, right? And so um, do your planning, do your research. If you start looking at this, it's not as it appears. And if you, I've been getting a lot of these solar flares, they are out of control. They, they could literally, you know, we think in terms of a meteorite coming toward us and hitting, which is very probable too. But these solar flares are that massive that that could happen. But I think there's that. But it, let's think about it. If you're going to tell, like imagine children or, or, or even a grown up, if you're going to tell something that's not true, it's better to do it. Why not say one thing? Why not just combine a whole bunch of untruths? You see comedies like that. And it's just so hysterical because they've got so many things mixed in it. you got the person so mixed up. So it might be, don't think linear in terms of one thing. It could be multiple things going on. All right. So starting to think uh, in that way. Now, this is not supposed to be paranoid. This is just um, everyone is here now for a reason. They agreed to it. I hate to say that. <laughs> We're kind of, we really are all in this together. And it's important that we need to learn to love each other and that we are family, that there are actually elements out there that, you know, might not want um, us to love each other and to all help each other out. So I wanted to pass this message on to you all. Um, if, if you... If you, <laughs> if you like me sharing this, because I do get stuff, I just usually don't share it, write in the comments, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to help when I can. What I don't want to do is freak anybody out. And also, I'm praying this does not, not, this doesn't happen, okay? So I guess I should talk about timeline. So this is a little big thing here. But when you're looking at probable outcomes, you can have different outcomes. You can have different timelines. So for example, um, I saw a family member have a heart attack three years ago, two and a half. I wasn't sure when it was going to be, you know, I just saw it. So everybody gave me crap. I see, I should have never said anything, you know, you gave me crap. And then in fact, that did happen, but it wasn't right then. So Sometimes this information coming in, it's very hard to get a time on this. Now I did. Um, so there is something with a, there is something with September 17th. I know that. I don't know why exactly. I can, I get things. I wish it, they would, it wasn't so much like spirit charades, how I get it uh, from, from my guides and so forth. Now, even when Jesus tells me he's very kind about it and, but he you know, he's, Jesus is not an alarmist. Jesus, Jesus got us covered, <laughs> but he, he will let us know, you know, he, he's kind. He does let us know. And if you look at when he would alert his apostles and so forth, he did let them know things, you know, he, but he let them know everything would be okay. He's kind of doing the same thing here. So, um, I'm, I'm don't, I just want everyone to know everything's fine. Everything's good. Just be spiritually mature and, and be calm, be that spiritual leader, get extra provisions. You know, what's the worst that can happen? You, you, you know, you don't, you miss going to the grocery store for a week or two. No big deal. I think that there's bigger, um, planning necessary for the one in September. I will say that. And I don't feel like I can say much more because of the world in which we live and the platform. So I just want everybody to know that I love them. 
I don't do this YouTube thing for money. Matter of fact, I don't even know if I break even with all my expenses and having this, but I do it out of an act of passion. And, and honestly, it really gives a lot back to me now meeting you. I've met so many of you and, um, you know, we're growing together. We're evolving together. And there's a bigger, there's a bigger picture here than, than arguing over this tiny little granule in the sand. There's a bigger picture here that we need to find a way to come together and love because that will be our downfall is not working together and loving each other and, and, and allow the differences with people. It's okay. You don't have to be like everybody. How boring would it be if you were just be yourself? Um, but this is just, um, you're here now for a reason and just know that all is well. God has your back. Our prayers matter. Let's come together. And if anyone would like to do um, prayers with me, I can set up a Zoom thing where we can do it even before the 8th and before the 17th. I'm happy to do that. I love to pray. I'm a praying girl. So, <laughs> And I know some. not everybody agrees with all these different topics I have on my channel, all these different things. That does not distract. If I talk about ETs, that unchanged my love for Jesus. Okay. I'm just going to tell you. And you know what? If someone is, it doesn't, it, you know, it's not of the same understanding I am. That's okay too. There's still a child of God. It's okay. We just need to get over ourselves and move on to a, a place of neutrality and more of service and love. So I'll leave you with that message. I love you guys. And, um, and write in the chat chat. I really like your feedback and, uh, you know, to see if you want to hear more of these kinds of things. If you do want to have a prayer group, I'll set that up. Also, on the, you can pray or meditation, whatever you want to call it for peace. I know peace and love. It sounds very hippie, but it works. Oh, well, it's time to go. Look, sign up for my Seeking Heaven channel. Love you all. Take care. Bye bye. Please subscribe, like, and make comments, and support this channel by becoming a member. Thank you for your continued support.